this okay? Yeah. We're done. I'm Anthony Carino. I've built and renovated hundreds of homes over the last decade. My next project, though, is something very personal. I'm taking an old firehouse in Jersey City, and I'm converting it into a home. My home. This is the Build TV, the firehouse project. It's insane! Recap interview, Mark. Project is finished. We are moved in. I can't believe it. A year in planning, six months in execution, a hell of a lot of design decisions and product decisions, but we're in here. So looking back, you learn something new on every job. Being that I was not the general contractor on this, I was the homeowner and the project manager and designer, and I hired a general contractor, it shows you so much how important hiring of your general contracting team is. There is no way I could have gotten this done as fast as I did without Mateo and the guys from FMR Contracting. They looked at all the problems with a passion to get them solved and to push the job forward. Things happened, mistakes happened, they let me know about them right away. We worked together to correct them. There's no world where everything goes right on a construction site. It's how you handle those problems that matter, and those guys are really, really good at addressing them. Thank you. Love it when a plan comes together. You know, all in all, with a job this big, nothing really major went wrong. Yes, we had to pivot. Yes, we had some things we had to adjust. Yes, I had some things that I wanted to change. But we didn't have any catastrophes, and I really point to the planning stage for the success in the execution stage. 12 months in design and planning in product selection, in making sure every wall was where I wanted it, every door was where I wanted it, every last little detail. If you do that in the planning stage, your execution is that much easier. Everything really lined up. Just about every wall and every door and every room is where I placed it in Chief Architect. Overall design really stayed true to what I envisioned by that last iteration. Now, I'm gonna take you through all the choices I made here, kind of a little recap on the entire build. So as we come through the Anderson entry door here, we are in the vestibule. We used Garden State tile throughout the entire project for all the tile. This is a handmade concrete tile that I'm absolutely in love with. We've got Benjamin Moore's grand entrance paint on both the rental apartment and my home's main entry door. We've got our ring doorbell and our Schlagen code smart lock. As we come into the entryway and we head up the stairs, the stringer on the stairs, which is the piece that goes up on an angle, and then all the risers in between each step, that's all Benjamin Moore, a semi-gloss blackjack is the color. It's from their oral line of paints. We use that on all our doors, all our door casing throughout the entire project. So since we're upstairs now, let's just dive right into the kitchen. We've got to start with the appliances. We went with an entire Miele appliance package. That 48 inch stove, we've got six burners plus the griddle on there. We have used every inch of that stove top. And I have to say with the M-Touch technology that's on it, which is basically their menu system, it's a touch screen that's underneath glass. The controls are so intuitive. From there, we look at all the stone surfaces. We've got the Sapien Stone porcelain countertop and the nature of porcelain being freeze thaw stable, being UV stable is really, really cool. And not only countertop, I mean, I had the guys at Faithful Countertops cut that beautiful dining table as well. Just an absolutely incredible product that I'm really thrilled we chose. From there, we go to the fixtures. Nobody does it better than Kohler, in my opinion, and their quality is second to none in the industry. And the innovation that they have been putting into their products over the last few years is just incredible. We translated all that to the outdoor kitchen as well. Speaking of which, we may as well move outside. So that outdoor kitchen, the cabinets are by Urban Bonfire, and the kitchen goes together super easy. Everything you're looking at is marine grade aluminum, is never gonna rust on you. It's powder coated. All the feet on the cabinets, all the interior hardware, it's all 304 stainless. Again, capped with the Sapien Stone countertops because they are able to handle the harsh winters and hot summers. And then from there, we've got to go to the deck surface itself, the bison pedestal and tile system. I am telling you, this is super easy to install. You make zero penetrations in your roof. The system that these guys have come up with, the pedestals that you are able to level based on the pitch of your roof, and then you drop in the two by two tile 
else. It looks absolutely incredible. It functions just as well. All right, so let's hop back inside. Now we're in the living room and the bar area. The bar is the same set of components that we've got in the kitchen. You know, Mittel Cucine cabinets, the Sapien stone countertops, the Kohler sink and faucet, that gorgeous Miele wine fridge. And this is another showstopper from Garden State Tile. I mean, the backsplash here is absolutely incredible. These guys have an incredible selection of tile. Pivoting over to the living room, we've got that gorgeous mountain fireplace in the corner. We have put it through its paces since it got here. I think we've had a fire almost every single night. Wonderful heat and looks beautiful. The living room is anchored by that beautiful grass green sofa by Article. Our rug is from West Elm. We went with the Samsung frame TV because we wanted to have a photograph as part of our gallery wall when the television is off. So it really allows the television to transform into a piece of art and integrate with the rest of the aesthetic of the home. This is part of the design of the home now. So as we move from the living room, we head back to the powder room. The Hoogan West wallpaper here with the dogs on it is our tribute to Rossi. So we've got our floating rover and vanity with single drawer, that unbelievable Kohler Kenshos vessel stone sink that hand etched is my favorite sink in the entire house. And then of course you go up to the Roburn mirror that is got a light all the way surrounding it. And then the Kohler Veil toilet. From there, we moved back to the guest room. We wanted a super comfortable space for all our guests to be able to come and stay. We have family from out of town, so we wanted to make sure they were comfortable. We installed a full custom closet made closet system. We've got our blackout Serena shade that works off of remote voice and also the Lutron app. And we anchored the entire room with Cushing Green, which is one of Benjamin Moore's colors of the year for 2020. Across the hall, we've got our guest bathroom. And again, we've got our Roburn vanity, our Roburn medicine cabinet, and then our full suite of Kohler products, the toilet, tub, the shower glass, and the shower and bath fillers. All the tile in here, again, is from Garden State Tile. We went with a deep navy and white. So from the guest bathroom, we move into my office, my sanctuary. I spend an absolute ton of time in my home office. One of the things that was really key for me with the office is having a ton of natural light. So again, we've got all the Renewal by Anderson windows in here. It keeps everything nice and quiet because I am facing the main street, but it also brings in a ton of light without all the heat and cooling loss. They are super, super efficient windows. My Serena Smart Shades by Lutron, they are 30% opacity, so I can see out, but people can't see in. So it cuts the glare during the day. I've got the original built-in bookcases that we had when this place was our office. Thanks to Benjamin Moore's advanced line of paints, I was able to paint these cabinets, leave them in their original configuration, but get a completely new look out of them. So what I decided to do was color match the Benjamin Moore paint with the background from the Juju Papers wallpaper. It's a charcoal with a gold pattern on top of it. I love how much movement and how much energy it evokes. We have to talk about the fire pole. When you open the gates and break the laser beam, the floor automatically opens. You can slide down the pole right into the garage. The floor automatically closes. So it is the closest thing I will ever have to a bat cave. It is a super fun feature as well as an incredible design element. So as we slide into the garage, we use Benjamin Moore's Coratec epoxy floor coating. You have a near indestructible surface that really cleans up old concrete beautifully. From there against the back wall, we've got a garage storage system from Closet Made and helps me keep super, super organized. You'll also notice that we've got one of our three train Hyperion air handlers throughout the property. As well as quiet, they are ridiculously efficient. And then we gotta talk about how we get in and out of the garage. First is our side entry, which is another Anderson door. We went with a quarter light here, and then our main means is this gorgeous, massive Clopay garage door. It is completely customizable down to the inch. We've got the LiftMaster 8500W garage door opener on this, and I can open and close the garage door remotely, which is fantastic if we're not home for deliveries. And the 85W has a battery backup built into it in the chance that you do have a power outage in your area, you are able to open and close your garage door a few times. So as we come in from the garage, we are in our entry hallway. And the first thing you'll see is our laundry area. We did some additional tile from Garden State Tile on the floor here. We have a Miele washer and dryer here. 
It's really small and compact, yet it's got a full-size drum inside, so you can be able to do all that laundry in one load as you would with an otherwise full-size washing machine. And then our laundry system is, again, by Closet Made, just fantastic organization. We went with the Sapien Stone countertop as well. So across from the laundry, we head into our master suite. Our master suite was meant to be kept simple and efficient. So we've got one big, beautiful Renewal by Anderson window. We've got our Serena Smart Shade by Lutron blackout shade that's set up. So it closes at 9 p.m. It opens as our morning alarm at 6 a.m. So from there, we've got the two doors on the right side of the room. Those are the his and hers closets. They both have three full walls of storage, all from Closet Maid's master suite line. So then across the master bedroom from the walk-in closets, we have our master bathroom. Again, these gorgeous tile selections from Garden State Tile. We went with old world subway tile in an off-white and a powder blue on the walls. And then we had this fantastic geometric pattern, which is really an updated version of some ancient Italian patterns that you'll see in a lot of churches throughout the country of Italy. Again, another massive window by Renewal by Anderson. Our privacy glass there. As you walk into the bathroom itself, you're staring right at that massive Roburn vanity and those two Roburn uplift medicine cabinets. They light up all the way around the edges, so you're lit really nicely. Inside that cabinet, there is a button you can press that heats the back of the mirror for 45 minutes while you're in the shower. So when you get out, there is no fog whatsoever on that mirror. On the top of those great Roburn vanity, you've got Sapien Stone countertops. We've got the Kohler Components series in matte black for the faucets and the handles. And then we've got the Roburn sinks in there as well. Directly behind that master vanity, we've got that separate little water closet room. We went with a Veil smart toilet in here as well from Kohler. Literally don't have to touch anything on the toilet, which keeps everything nice and clean. Really incredible set of features. And it just goes to show how much Kohler pushes innovation So at the end of the day, this building starts another chapter in mine and JC's lives. I wanna give a huge thank you to FMR Contracting and a massive thank you to all the brands that worked with me on this job. I would not have chosen anybody else to be in this space. I would have chosen nobody else to build this space along with me. Thank you guys so much. We are so excited to live in our new home. Coming up in season two, I'm taking on a project that's bigger and more complicated. The full renovation of a 1960s stone house nestled in the Catskill Mountains. The previous owner gutted the space and then realized he was in over his head. So we bought it to create our mountain retreat. We're gonna have a whole new set of challenges this time around. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. The Stone House Project starts right now.